Hello there. Shalom. Namaste. I hope everybody's having a beautiful Friday so far and uh, having a great time. Hey, you know, each individual person has their own individual thought process. Oh my God. Duh. We could, we could look at the same picture and you and I would have a different take on it. Thousands of people could look at a picture and thousands of people will come up with different answers. Each one of us is as different as a snowflake where no two are exactly alike. That's how God made us. Glory to God. So I was watching the Chris Rock thing and man, I could feel that man's hurt there towards the end. What happened to him was bad. I've been bullied. And I've been smacked around and I didn't do nothing back and it it tore me up as a kid and it just I ended up turning all that into inter hate which ended up made me hate more hate more hate more and then when I finally got into my own and somebody had to feel that hate with the process of my hands I still didn't feel very good about it afterwards and I was like damn it I thought, <laughs> I thought beating someone's ass who deserved it would feel better than this, but it didn't. And a lot of times I would feel sick in my stomach. And I guess it was, in hindsight, it was my soul telling me that it was just so wrong because what I was doing to them, I was doing to myself. But I, you know, I was way too ignorant back then. I couldn't have even accepted that or, you know, anything. You know, and, and you got Jada and Will saying, Get over it. Take accountability. Really? Because you got on and fake apologized and fake cried because you knew that you were getting banned from the Oscars and you knew, Jada, it was your fault. Take accountability and get over it. Now you want to act all butt hurt and everything. Then you got people here on YouTube. Everybody's always slinging arrows, slinging arrows. I went to get on Gene's live yesterday. All I put on there was God bless you, Gene, and, and all the chatters. And then I ducked out because there is way too many arguments. I am through with negativity, y'all. I'm done with it. You know, it don't fit me anymore. These are positive clothes, man. These are clothes of God. You know, I I just don't have time for that stuff anymore. You know? To even watch it I mean I stopped partaking in it by saying stupid evil things myself but I would still sit around and watch people and then you know try to say, eh, you know <laughs> you know whatever mm -mm. I'm pretty much done you know I will always be here if my man Gene needs me he's my Texas brother I love him I love everybody, but as long as uh, the rest of y'all just want to keep slinging ear arrows, trying to tear somebody down, trying to tear their world apart, trying to investigate them, trying to do this and trying to do that, because you are a sad ass individual, you are doing the same bitch ass shit that Will did, and you won't see it either. No, it's because he said something about me really grow up grow the fuck up it's much more than that people can't show their vulnerabilities anymore man you know and as raised the way I had raised myself is you don't show weakness especially after I got taller and muscular and <laughs> got past the being bullied thing man show no weakness Stay strong in the storm. It would be so bad that even before I could even really do what I did, uh, somebody could be on top of me with their hands around my throat, squeezing the life out of me, and I would ask them if they would given up yet. And even after I got big enough, and I started beating the hell out of people who deserve how I felt deserved it, it didn't feel good. It made me sick in my stomach. It made me... It, literally made me ill and I'm like what the fuck this is supposed to feel good I'm supposed to come back 
You know? I'm the man. You know, that's what they fucking get. And I could still say those words, but at the same time, something was telling me no. Now I know. It was my soul saying, hey, what you're doing to them, you're doing to yourself. And what you're doing to them is going to come back on you more. You know, we talk about karma, brothers, sisters. I have had karma pretty much rape my soul. Why? Because of the things that I had done before that finally came back on me. So go ahead. Keep on picking on each other. Keep outing each other. Keep trying to tear each other down. Keep being a Will Smith and pull bitch ass moves. And keep being Jada who stirs the pot and says, I'm not the one cooking. Keep being like that. See how far it gets you in life. I wear the clothes of positivity. I am positivity. And I mean that. I love each and every one of you, whether you are doing what we would call bad or good. Because I know what your potential is. It's just you who does it. And you can sit up there and oh, I love myself. I know what my potential is. Yeah, well, as long as you uh, respond like that, you don't. It's time to grow up. It's time to think. The world's going to shit. Are we going to keep on allowing it to happen that way? Not me. And if I get shot, stabbed, beaten to death, whatever, all I have to do is say thank you. Because you're sending me back home baby but until then I'm going to fight the good fight except now instead of using these I'm using this the holiest temple that we have is in ourselves God bless you all you really don't know how much I love you but I do and I pray all of you a very blessed weekend.